we've got um, Josie Evans here, who's a, a local triathlete, and she has just flown back in from um, Vancouver, of all places, but I'm sure she'll tell you all, of, all about it and what she's been doing over there. Well, uh, Josie here. Uh, I've had a fantastic holiday as well as being at the World Triathlon Championships so uh, I've been working quite hard and lots of training and preparation to do it. Uh, the races, uh, it, well, it was advertised as 1500 metre swim which actually shortened to 1100 metres because of the cold and the bad weather and the big waves and people getting pulled down with hypothermia and things like that. Where was in Vancouver? Was the swim the, the swim team? It part? was out of English Bay, yeah. which is just near Stanley Island. Oh, Very nice. Yes, lots of meltwater. Fantastic. Eleven point one degrees, as, as far as I know. Yeah. So it's pretty cold, even with the wetsuit on. I was going to say it's definitely wet. Definitely wetsuit. <laughs> wetsuit for me. Absolutely, more like a dry suit, please. Like <laughs> for. People like me who aren't in the, the big way, um, the swimming comes in the middle, is that right? Uh, yeah, the beginning. The beginning? Yeah. So then you've got to come out of that cold yes. and get straight on your bike, is that yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of wind chill. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Muscles are all like ice, you know. Well, you've got to be able to run up the beach after the swim, you know. Does, all does it take you long to warm up? Uh, I had to acclimatise um, several days before, so it wasn't such a shock to the system. Um, I was out there for two weeks before, so I had a chance to get in the water. First time I went in, I was in for about two minutes, got out, and my hands were blue and numb. And I had to get warm up in the outdoor swimming pool, which was about 26 degrees. It was like a bath in comparison. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, I still enjoy it. Right. Well, I know you, I know you enjoy it. Oh, I, I love it. it. It was just the swim was more of a survival thing and sort of started off with all the good plans you know start out really concentrate being strong in the swim obviously have a good have a good start but um, and the waves were washing us on to shore so i was aware of that and aware of the current as well so you've got to be able to sort of read what the conditions are like very strong current then um, not hugely strong, but it had, had a difference. I was sort of swimming along, looking at the shoreline, thinking, I'm sure I haven't gone anywhere in the last five minutes. <laughs> On a competitive edge, yeah. uh, when you are swimming and that sort of weather, yeah. uh, and I take it a lot of these people you you come up against quite, you come up against quite often. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you find that there's swimmer, you know, people who, who can swim far better in a good current? Um, you know what I mean? Some like, people really do well in rough conditions, and other people just flounder. Where uh, on a good day they might leave you behind, sort yeah, of hang on a yeah, good day. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Uh, would you prefer the rough weather yourself? Yeah, but a little bit warmer. A little, probably, little yeah. bit warmer. That would be nice. Oh, <laughs> maybe, maybe off the Jamaican coast next time. Oh, oh, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> More sponsorship, please. <laughs> uh, how many took part this time in Vancouver? There was. 500 athletes from Great Britain and the field was, I believe it was about 3,000 competitors from all the way around the world. So. And, uh, can I put you on the spot and say, how, you, how did you do? I was fourth GB. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, but, well, but the overall position was 30 seconds out of uh, 75. So, I did pretty well. Let's yeah. say you were very happy. Yeah, Fourth TV, you got such brilliant in that. Yeah. Well, I was hoping for top 10, but you know, you got to aim high. You got to aim high, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's it. There's always next time, isn't there? Oh, yeah. And where will your next one be, do you know? Or? Um, well, I'm not doing the world probably for another couple of years now, yeah. but um, I've got a race week on Sunday. A week off, so, yeah. and is that? That's um, Olympic distance, so the same. Yeah, so 1500 meter swim, 40k bike, and 10k run. And is that in the area or is that? That's at uh, Park Bring Back. Sorry about the pronunciation, it's close enough. Who else be? Who else in the area? It, it's a lovely big park in Wales, about 45 minute drive away. So. Uh, well, and apart from that, I have no idea. Alright, alright. <laughs> Are you looking 
looking forward to the Olympics. Oh, not fortunate, so yes. <laughs> but would you like to? Would you ever like to see that as a take part? It is a sport now, isn't it? It, it is. It's yes, been a couple of years. Yeah. Um, it's been in the last. Uh, Sydney. Yeah, I was going to say, I remember yeah. watching it, and, yeah. we, and we done very well in oh, Sydney, awesome. considering, yeah. Yeah. and uh, you've seen it, they looked absolutely big, I think, you know, I, I, I felt sorry for him, I was, we had a little, we were lucky to think because our youngest baby was teething at the time, so it was great to just stay up and watch it, <laughs> it was a great excuse to stay up and watch it, but he wants to come out of the water, and even though it was Australia, which is probably warm, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. Absolutely shattered before he even went anywhere, yeah. and he never oh, you, you could have got a bike back. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and it's fine, it's, it's, it's like you say, I know it's, it's very rare you seen that you have a strong swimmer, but yeah. then they're not quite as good on the bike or the runner, yeah. and then you have someone who's the runner. Yeah, you can have quite a different variety of um, people with different backgrounds. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm from horse riding and scuba diving, so that's got nothing to do with triathlon. So some people come from a running background, so they're obviously going to be quite strong Strong running. So, and same with like sort of people from swimming clubs. So you know, it's so many different backgrounds that uh, come into triathlon. As I say, it's very nice because people, uh, you've also people come from all over as well. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. As, as it, all walks of life. Yeah, you don't absolutely. need to do any. You know, basically, there's a ton of bit of this, bit of that, yeah. and how to go at it. Yeah. Not surprising how you find them. Um, or even just out of school, or um, you know. Someone just thinks, oh, that sounds like a good challenge. Let's, you know, let's do that. You know, you don't have to have a sporting background to be able to compete in triathlon. Well, that's the nice thing I was going to say. That is the nice thing about it. Well, um, maybe that. No, I'll stay clear from this. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not expensive sport apart from like if you have to well, go to Vancouver of course yeah, but then, yeah. <laughs> then it becomes expensive but I mean you run you can swim you can do that at your local bars you can learn that yeah. you're running you can just take off and go yeah. and a good push bike you can pick up yeah. cheap nowadays so yeah, I mean I mean it's you not you have to have a top notch gear to uh, exactly to learn yeah. and it's like say if, it, if it, a youngster shows that he's got the talent yeah. well it shouldn't be long before someone says well, we'll get better yeah. equipment and see how he gets on quite a few talent spotters, especially in the, the British Triathlon Federation anyway, so, and then there's lottery funding if you're at a certain level anyway, so, unfortunately I'm definitely not at that level. But the, the, but, money, the money's there for the people who get, yeah, get yeah, to that, yeah, that stage, yeah. and there'll be a big party for Beijing or not? Um, probably. <laughs> I was, I was looking at that as well because they were showing you the, had, they actually had the cycle had, you've probably seen, seen this did you see they were showing the kits this week Louise no I didn't see that well, they had the kits and the, uh, the kits and they had a couple of, obviously the, the cyclists are the good looking ladies because they had a, they had a couple of the cycling girls with, uh, and the, with the kits on like sort of thing like that model yeah. on the internet I thought but um, um, I have it down here somewhere it's only 56 days to go to make the patient. well that's the same yeah, yeah. Pendleton is the one that they're really digging up at the moment. Yes, I was say she's um, big in the news at the moment as well because she's um, promoting um, Girl, Girls for Gold yeah. as well, which um, again is running in conjunction with the Olympics trying to get um, more females aged between 17 and 25 actually interested in sport. Great, she's it? been seen as a sort of young, bright, yeah. beautiful, as, as you say, yeah. role model. Yeah, and we're aiming for, I suppose we're aiming for. Well, are we? Yes, yes, it would yeah. be, yes. Yeah. I think 56 days is a bit hard. Yeah. <laughs> 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 there's one spot on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what they're, they're pushing for, and obviously, you say Victoria Pendleton with her high you know, uh, flying you know, profile at the moment. You know, it's being pushed forward to try and get more girls interested and to show that you can do it. She came quite late into 22 when she, she started. Um, so, you know, so they're aiming at 17 to 25 year olds and they're actually sign them up. I'll change tact a bit here and go off. You know me, I always go off already here. I'm going on Mr. Cavendish now. And I don't know if Mr. Cavendish, he's getting, um, yeah, he's getting a lot for the, the Tour de France. Yeah. But I've noticed the Tour de France is not getting the publicity. Is it because, you know, it's probably because of the Olympics, it's like you say, it's very near and it doesn't seem to be as much publicity as it should be. No, it's not supposed to be. Widespread? Yeah, it's not. So, you know, it's very much um, being pushed forward to try and get saw how well he did in the Tour of Italy yeah. and we're just hoping he can do better and, and better from that, you know, and it's given him a bit of a 
boost to show that he can come good on the international scene. Get the British riders around him. Yeah, as yeah. Well. I mean, I'm not sure how many British um, riders are actually um, riding in the Tour de France, but I mean, certainly we had six up there in the Tour of Italy. Obviously, not you know, working for different teams, but yeah. just seeing somebody else that. Um, no, that's from your country will obviously give you a boost in the race and um, you know, with Jeremy Hunt as well is is out there now and riding the Criterium Dufne Nubra so he's one of um, a top British riders as well that's still on the international scene um, yeah, and a great support out there so he's uh, another one of the same hope for that Yeah, I will certainly keep an eye on Are you getting us a tip for the the tour this year because we're getting close now. Yeah, no, I think it's it's open again this year. I mean, I mean, I say since um, I suppose the likes of um, Lance Armstrong, yeah. which again was a you know he was a big figure. Um, yes, and again an English speaker, which but he was also he was so ahead of his game to put it that way. Um, that people he had nothing to do with cycling, you know what I mean. Um, I watched the comedy movie the other day and, um, and he was in it, you know what I mean? Yeah. He had a bit part in it, yeah. sort of thing. But he's and we knew who it was, sort of thing. You know? yeah. Yeah. He's a bit like the David Beckham of yeah. side track yeah. that yeah. everybody knows who he is. I think since he's actually left the cycling scene, that probably he's going a bit flat at the moment, especially for over here in, in Britain. But as I say, still watch it. Yeah. We yeah. have got British riders in there. That's not American ones, British riders. And it's live on TV as well, as you yeah. Channel 4, tennis yeah. show whatever year. Yeah. So it is, it's, it's a good one to watch. It really is a good one to watch. Now. I think I'm going to be getting the helicopter. So before we do go, have we got anything local happening that you'd like to right. well, tell us all about? Yeah, I mean, it's still, I, knew, I know I keep plugging them, you but keep it's, plugging <laughs> it, <yeah. laughs> it's um, still we've got the training rides every um, we've got club rides every um, Sunday morning from um, Fountain Inn at Park End at half past nine. There is a faster group and um, a slower group, so all abilities catered for. Um, and each Tuesday we've got time trials as well going on. Um, I'm not sure what's coming up this week. Last week it was a two kilometre ride up Big Swear, up the hill from Big Swear. Hill climb last week, um, so next week it will probably back to the Lidbrook course again. But um, look on our website www.rdfcc.org.uk <laughs> to find out um, the time trials, and they say they're happening every week. There's always you know, about 25 people doing it, so you won't be lost. A mixture of men and women, um, and PBs going all over the place. So obviously, this year's a good cycling year. The two of them, there you are. And have we got anything from you, Josie? Are you going to be up to anything apart from going around the lakes of Wales? <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got quite a few races coming up, so uh, that part of going back um, in 10 days' time and uh, the Eastern Triumph on weekend. Uh, I've got some. You just that. go on here. I've, I've got about another 10 to go this year, so. So we'll have you in to find out how you get on. <laughs> if, you, if you're if not I'm too tired, really yeah. Shape, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was great to have you on the show. Okay. It was fantastic to see you again, Louise. Uh, the Thank course, you. We'll see you again in a few weeks, I hope. I should yeah, think yeah, so. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if you've recuperated from uh, your. Uh, you haven't got jet lag anyway, so you're not too bad. Oh, I've been sleeping.